What is going on, I have Warriors? It's your boy Edward V, and today we're gonna talk about a new study, a brand spanking new study that further proves that intermittent fasting is an anti-aging beast. We've noticed neurodegenerative diseases reduced in fasting participants, but although there were many biomarkers that showed all these anti-aging results, it was hard to determine where the origins of these things developed inside of your body. But this new groundbreaking study digs even deeper to find out how fasting actually connects to anti-aging. Stay tuned. Okay, one of the big topics that are debated a lot within the intermittent fasting community and those opposed to intermittent fasting is the anti-aging benefits. Yes, there are studies that show things like Alzheimer's disease and cancer reduction happens through fasting, but a lot of people have indicated that there's no proof to connect the fasting to these biologically induced anti-aging systems. Many people actually argue that it's simply a caloric restriction that's causing all these anti-aging elements. However, there have been many studies that keep the calorie levels the same and still show an increase in the health markers in terms of anti-aging within intermittent fasting as opposed to simply eating normally breakfast lunch and dinner for example but this study actually tackles the anti-aging origin where are these things coming from how is it developing in your body simply because you are fasting a group of scientists came together to do this study it was led by dr. Ming Hui Zhao and was conducted at the Georgia State University in Atlanta they realized that there was a specific molecule that prevents vascular aging. And preventing vascular aging is really important because that actually can assist in preventing Alzheimer's, preventing cardiovascular diseases, preventing cancer. Diseases that are related specifically to the fact that you are aging. These are diseases that connect to your body simply because you're entering an older age. Your body starts to deteriorate specifically in the vascular area. And this molecule, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this molecule, is beta-hydroxybutyrate. This is a ketone that is developed in the liver when your body has to switch from using glucose as energy to using ketones as energy. Now, keep in mind that this was a 24-hour fast. However, you can tap into the beta-hydroxybutyrate much faster if, for example, you exercise. If you exercise while fasting, you deplete your glucose energy very very quickly and then even though you're fasting for shorter than 24 hours you'll be in the range of utilizing beta hydroxybutyrate so the first thing that they did to look into this was that they took rats post mortem so after death to determine what, what the cause of death was and they looked at rats who had atherosclerosis and they looked into their aortas after they were dead they looked into their body and they started to measure kind of reverse engineer what the buildup was and how it could be prevented so we know that beta hydroxybutyrate, that ketone, helps you actually mobilize and burn fat. It starts to use that as your primary source of energy because you have no glucose. So we know that it helps in inducing fat burning. But what this study was doing was looking at the other chain reactions, the other effects that beta hydroxybutyrate actually does. And when digging deeper, they saw that this triggers a chain reaction in the body. This chain reaction in the DNA actually keeps the endothelial cells young and undamaged. This is simply bouncing off the beta hydroxybutyrate that's being excreted in your body. Now it's going to get pretty scientifically convoluted so I'm not going to break down all of the terminologies but I'm going to tell you where it places your body biologically through this connection chain reaction that happens because of the beta hydroxybutyrate. So basically when the beta hydroxybutyrate triggers the DNA in the endothelial cells it then attaches to an RNA binding protein which this then boosts the activity of a stem cell's transcriptional factor called OCT4. OCT4 then increases lamin B1, a key factor against DNA damaged induced cells, which then keeps the vessel, the blood vessels, young. And because of that entire chain reaction that happens simply because you were fasting, you are now much less likelier to have cardiovascular diseases, Alzheimer's, and cancer. Disease types that are related directly with aging. As more studies continue to be more rigid and more focused and more pushed forward, studies like these will continue to present themselves, digging deeper to find out why things are happening in our bodies. Why is fasting assisting in the anti-aging process? We know 
know that certain outcomes happen because of fasting. For example, the oldest man to ever run a marathon being over 100 years old. He fasted basically for his entire life and he can run a full marathon, not walk the marathon, run the marathon as a 100 plus year old man. We can look at that, we can dissect that as much as we want, but we wanna know what are the biological things that are happening that can get you to a level where you can run a marathon at 100 years old. The studies like this are not simply giving you just the biomarkers in participants who fast, it's showing you the actual biological process of why anti-aging is occurring in the body because of the molecule beta hydroxybutyrate and the chain reaction that's causing the end result to be anti-aging effects. And these studies are amazing. This study is brand spanking new, guys. It just came out September 9th, I believe, and it's very promising for continuing and further exploring fasting in terms of health benefits and the triggers that it has that assist life longevity. Because these things, let's be honest, are part of the longevity pool. It's part of the basket of fasting assisting you in longevity. I mean, if you reduce the likelihood of cancer, reduce the likelihood of Alzheimer's, reduce the likelihood of cardiovascular diseases, then at its core, you are basically increasing your ability to live longer. So I just wanted to touch on that new study that came out that is very, very impressive. They did a lot of work to break down all of that information to find that chain reaction to understand why certain things are happening within the anti-aging effects of fasting and i will have a link to the study below but just know that it is very 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 sciencey there's a lot of terms in there i wanted to make sure that this was a digestible video that you can consume the information and be able to understand fully what i'm talking about hope this video was informative and i want to thank my patrons from my patreon and i'm going to put their names right up here And of course, as always, guys, I will see you on Sunday for another FAQ. Peace!